You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 23 and following On meat offered to idols Here in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 23 and following Paul's advice is fairly clear-cut and simple. All things, he says, are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful, he reminds them, but not all things build up. It's as simple as that. Although all things are lawful, they may not be beneficial. Although all things are lawful, they may not be things that build up. And in any case, the principle is, do not seek your own advantage, but that of others. Got it? And, therefore, let's apply this, thinks Paul, to a test case of meat offered to idols. What this means is that, of course, you can eat meat that's sold in the meat market, even though it may have been offered to idols before it was sold in the meat market, without raising any question on the ground of conscience, because the earth and everything in it is God's. And equally, if an unbeliever invites you to a meal and you're disposed to go, eat whatever's set before you without raising any question on the grounds of conscience. Again, everything belongs to God. On the other hand, if someone says to you, this has been offered in sacrifice, then, of course, you mustn't eat it. Why not? Well, not for your conscience's sake, but for their conscience's sake. Not because the meat will do anything to you. After all, everything belongs to God. The earth is God's and everything in it. But because they thinking that idols have some sort of reality, might believe falsely that you share that idea. So for the sake of their conscience, not your own, you shouldn't eat. But, Paul's interlocutors go on to object, why should my liberty be subject to the judgment of someone else's conscience? After all, if I partake giving thanks, why should I be denounced because of what I'm doing? Well, silly. It's because, although all things are lawful, not all things are beneficial. You should act for the sake of the other person, and not for your own sake. It's as simple as that, and that's Paul's principle. So, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Give no offence to Jews or to Greeks or to the Church of God, just as I try to please everyone in everything that I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, so that they may be saved. And he goes on to explain that in this they should copy him. Paul's principle is clear-cut. Don't seek your own advantage, but that of others. How might we apply that today? Well, let's take the rather amusing test case of a bunch of American Baptist women who were visiting a bunch of German Baptist women and who were shocked because the German women were drinking beer and wine with their meals. Terrible. Of course, the German women were also shocked. The American women had on so much makeup they looked like whores. Terrible. It's quite clear how both sets of women ought to respond. The American women should go easy on the makeup while they're visiting so as not to offend the Germans. And the German women should perhaps choose not to drink beer or wine while the Americans are there, so as not to offend them. All things are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Don't seek your own advantage, but that of others. You may not be offered meat that's been offered to idols, but you will find occasions where something which is lawful isn't beneficial. I can assure you. God bless.